I'm Wally. I'm Dave. And we are another segment or episode in our series of, of PVC. You know, we've talked about PVC. I mean, PVC can go over ISO, mm-hmm. you know, it can go over hardboard. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. There's some things that we really need to clarify that you can't go over top. Yes, we do. Which is a very important point. Because I've ran into this on jobs where guys have used certain underlayment and the job's complete, it's a nice looking job. And then you get to down to the point where they have something that they didn't go over and it's roll, roll. we got some major issues. Or they didn't use an underlayment, went right over a BUR. Right, so let's talk about some of the things that you really want to try to avoid. What do I have behind you right now? We have EPS and XPS. The board of EPS was basically white styrofoam. Yes. Basically, and the XPS is more of a compressed, mm-hmm. kind of a compressed styrofoam, right? I believe so. What would happen if I laid this down on a roof and I laid my PVC over top of it? It would extract the plasticizers. How long do you think it take? Depending on where you're at, right? Country. Well, it depends on where you're at, how much is it is. It what take the... a year? It could take five years. It could take a month. Yeah, who knows? This also comes like in a fan fold type, which yes. would be the XPS. XPS. Yeah. That you can't really use either. Mm-hmm. Let's say I've got a, uh, I'm doing a PVC job mm-hmm. and I want to use this as my underlayment. Yes. What are my options? Your options are basically a separation layer, which uh, can which be, be polymath. Polymat, which we went over at our mock-up deck. Right. Yeah, we separated the asphalt from the PVC. So I could take that polymat and cover this with it. Correct. Or this. Correct. And install my PVC. Or take a fleece back PVC, which already has the separator on it. The fuzzies, as you like to the call fuzzies. it. The fuzzies. Yeah and go directly to it. I don't need a separator no. board if I'm using that. No, or a cover board, could simple. Could be half inch high density, could be a, a secure rock or any type of dens deck type of material, any cement board type like that. Or what about like a wood fiber? A wood fiber as long as it isn't asphalt impregnated. Wow, asphalt impregnated. Yeah. Because if you do that, you got the same problem going directly to asphalt, right? Basically, yeah. yeah. So let's say I'm bidding at a job that's already got an existing PVC roof on it. It's already got the separate board and, and that roof needs to replace. Can I leave that roof in place and go over top of it? With a board, yes. Well, I can't go directly to it? No. Why not? Because, again, the plasticizer migration. From the PVC on top of the PVC? Correct. What about any other type of single-ply membrane? Don't go over anything. No PVC. Or separate it if you're going to separate it. you got to separate it. Very important point to make sure everybody understands. Separate it. So stay tuned for some more of our segments or episodes from the series on PBC. Please.